Hello, Good Vibe Fire Tribe. This is Therese Firewoman with Good Vibe in 5, sharing ideas and insights for allowing a good vibe, shifting your vibe, and living life on fire in five minutes or less, five days a week. For more about what we do and why we do it, visit our About Good Vibe in 5 video. For now, let's get to it and do it and take our three slow, deep breaths. Let's breathe in right here. and exhale and that is a red-bellied woodpecker you're hearing out there by the way another slow deep breath in and exhale feel your neck shoulders muscles relax relax and one more slow deep breath in and exhale and join me in this intention if you like. Thank you for helping me easily and naturally recognize and focus upon the good that is. And onward, upward, and forward to the good that is always becoming. And as you know, I like to add, in truth, the good I and we as humanity have already created. And thank you for helping me share the ideal message and ideal words, short and sweet, to benefit the greatest number of people today. All right, we got the woodpeckers talking to you guys today. How cool is that? These are the guys that are all about rhythm, beating the drum of something new. Loving it. All right. Oh, what a beautiful plant. Look at this, guys. I love the artwork on these cards. Bee Balm, Vibrance. Add some spark to your life. Bee Balm encourages you to let go of inhibitions, cut loose, be passionate, and sing your song at the top of your lungs without judgment. Yes, every day is a gift worth celebrating. Bee Balm reminds you to show up and embrace the potential of your own life. No excuses. All right, so my vibrant, amazing, incredible, beautiful, talented, passionate, loving, caring, helpful, awesome human beings. This is such an amazing time for you to truly get in touch with with the things that light you up. This is such an amazing, I mean, how many times in our lives do we basically get, it's kind of like when you're a kid, like I grew up in the Northeastern United States in New York. And I remember that when we would have a snow day, when we were sent home from school, it was the coolest thing ever. The parents were probably, oh, Oh gosh, kids are home. This is a big giant bummer. But as kids, we were all like, wow, we don't have to go to school today. It's a snow day. We can like just mess around and go outside and play and all of that kind of stuff. And as kids, you know, it's not like we're getting in our cars and driving far, far away and doing all kinds of stuff like that. We were thrilled to pieces to get the day off to play and to just, you know, do things even just around the house and right outside in the front yard and build our little snowman. And if there was a, we happen to have a hill close by, oh boy, to go sledding down a hill. But I want to encourage you guys to allow that spirit of inventiveness and that spirit of fun to come alive right now. This is an opportunity that we've all been given, guys, to be able to step away from the day-to-day -day stuff and driving all over the place and doing a whole bunch of things all the time and really tap into that part of us that's creative and knows how to have a good time no matter where we are. So, my friends, here's to encouraging your vibrance remembering that you can enjoy the journey even right here right now under these conditions and you can always live life on fire